<laughs> Hello everyone, Donut here. I have been struckith again. YouTube sent me an email saying, Hi Donut, our team has reviewed your content and unfortunately we think it violates our violent or graphic content policy. We remove the following content from YouTube. Five shooting recap. They said that this content contains violent or graphic footage posted in a sensational or exploitive manner and is not allowed on YouTube. That's not true. I went back and watched the video and filed an appeal that I hope goes through. The video shows no blood, no gore, and it's just one of those basic breakdowns that I do for informational, educational, and training purposes. If YouTube thought that one was bad, then again, this is another one of those scares where I'm like, well, is my channel gonna go, oop? <laughs> we'll see, I, they've done this a couple times the past few months and my appeal normally goes through. When I explain I'm a former cop, you know, I'm just breaking this down for training. Uh, I know you guys have been seeing a lot of ads on my channel lately. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you. It's because I really don't know if my channel is gonna go poof one day and I really want my son to go to a good college. With that being said, this video is brought to you by the United States Concealed Carry Association, the USCCA. What is that, you might ask? Well, it's an organization that I think anyone who concealed carries or anyone who has a firearm in their home to protect themselves and their family should probably join. Let's say some dirtbag breaks in your home, they're wanting to hurt you and your family, you end up shooting them and killing them. There's still a possibility, depending on the circumstances, you could be arrested. And you absolutely know that dirtbag's family is gonna try suing you for a couple of million dollars because you killed them. Rightfully so. If you get a membership with the USCCA, basically what they do is they cover your ass. They keep you out of jail by providing upfront bail bond funding. They provide you with attorneys and they also provide a large fund in case you do get sued in court civilly by the person's family. They have a few different tiers of memberships on their website, each offering a little bit more. And there's a whole lot that goes into a membership other than them covering your ass. I suggest you go check it out. You can save 15% today by going to usccapartners.com slash donut operator. So what's going on in the world of police and crime? It's been a minute since I've done a Leo recap. The Austin, Texas City Council votes to cut the police department budget by one third and reinvest money in social services. The Austin City Council unanimously voted to cut its police department budget by $150 million on Thursday. I'm really interested to see how this one plays out. I just wouldn't want to live in Austin anymore if I were you. This one's kind of a couple weeks old, but I had never got on here and confirmed for those of you that didn't know that guy that threw the bomb at the Portland courthouse and everyone was like oh his grandmother outed him it turns out his grandmother really did out him I wasn't sure if that was true or not but he turned himself in after his grandmother recognized him Trump loving grandma outs Portland bomber to feds and it's her own grandson and yeah it did have to do with the review that she left of the uh, the vest that she got for him she even bashed him on Twitter under the tag Trump's girl 2020 she said this is my only grandson I love him to death and didn't know he was going to do such a bad thing I'd been posting several things about the Antifa and BLM he knows I'm against those riots big time he chose his poison grandma said get wrecked nerd in other news a female twitch streamer was caught killing a cat on stream shut up <laughs> Yet another crime against cats on stream going unpunished. Portland. Oh, let's talk about Portland some more. I don't know if you guys saw the dude dragging the motorcycle, but it's a pretty crazy video. We have multiple angles of protesters approaching a vehicle, slashing its tires, putting objects in front of it, most notably a motorcycle, and being general all-around assholes again. You can't blame them one bit, and this is like over a week ago. I think last night the violent protests hit 80 days. In this angle, you can see the peaceful protester put his peaceful motorcycle in front of the person's truck. My favorite part of this one is this woman thinking she's going to catch it. And my favorite angle of this person saying, hell no, I'm not going to be a victim. Goodbye, motorcycle. You probably wouldn't have lost it if you weren't trying to falsely imprison someone who just wants to exercise their right of driving down the road in the United States of America. Speaking of, Indianapolis. Yet another person was trying to drive down the road and two dudes with guns stopped him from doing that. <laughs> Hit 
The guy tries to drive around him and they're not letting that happen. Oh, look, this guy even brought his little girl to it. I think it's pretty ironic they tell him not to be stupid when they're the ones standing out here in the middle of the road with no jobs in the middle of the day, you know, uh, peacefully protesting. But hey, George Floyd. Speaking of just trying to drive down the road while minding your own business, out of Aurora. Man accused of shooting two people during Elijah McCain protest charged with attempted first degree murder. A 23 year old is facing four counts of attempted first degree murder and other felonies for firing a revolver into a crowd of people at a protest last month. Probably some anti-BLM white supremacist, right? Nope, it was a guy who was attending the protest and another person in a Jeep wanted to drive on the interstate as is their right. They didn't hit anybody. They were just trying to get through the crowd and this dude pulls out a gun and fires shots. Samuel Alvin Young fired a revolver at a Jeep that drove through a crowd blocking the interstate during the protest. Two protesters, however, were hit by gunfire. One man was shot in the leg and was taken by ambulance to a local hospital. Another man suffered a graze wound to his head and was taken by a private vehicle to a hospital. There's old Tex right there with his revolver opening up on a crowd of people. How'd that work out for you? I guess you just shouldn't shoot at people trying to drive down the road. We had yet another instance of police brutality take place last week in Utah. And uh, this one hits close to home. It involves a skateboarder. A police officer shot a skateboarder from behind. What has this world come to? Remember the video I made a couple of weeks ago and I was kind of blown away by the fact that Mexican drug cartels have technicals made out of raptors? Like what? Well, it turns out they got a little bit more than that. Anyways, that goes on for a while. I know they look kind of scary, but it's nothing that a, a strafing run from a brute boy wouldn't solve. We've all seen English police run people over with their cars who are on scooters or motorcycles, but have you seen Norwegian police do it yet? I don't think I've ever made a video about Norwegian police. This is a pretty legit police chase I found though. Oh, like something straight out of a Die Hard movie, man. They don't play around. That's all I got for you today. Just wanted to throw a little recap down on some stories I've been saving for a minute. Hopefully it was enough to quench your thirst, your crime thirst, crime donut thirst. I hope you guys have a good weekend. Have a safe weekend. Everybody, please have a fantastic day. Hacker.